Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man. And today I'm going to be talking to you about Black Obsidian. So this is a very beautiful crystal that has been used as a weapon by ancient people for a very long time. This is a very, very beautiful crystal in its energies. It's all about truth. It's all about shadows and getting to the truth and light and things. This crystal is very powerful. But make sure when you, you, you're you using this crystal that you're very, very careful with this crystal. This crystal is actually, and I'm watching it right now because it's very sharp and it can be very scary. Same thing to negative spirits, same thing to dark entities, same thing to anything or anyone who's trying to hurt you as well. When someone sends you their energy and it's not good, when you have a sharp piece of obsidian just lying around the home, it acts as an active defense and it kind of cuts it and has the ability to send it back because it amplifies it and then sends it back because obsidian has energies of amplification when it comes to negative energy so that it's released. But since it's volcanic, and keep in mind when lava paves things through, so basically when lava is coming out of the ground of the volcano, it's just destroying whatever it's in its way and it's transforming it, which is the fire element of returning to sender. So you can use lava and obsidian for returning to sender, uh, any kind of sending negative energy back in a, such a very harsh way, but it's to send it back so it doesn't keep coming and so that it's not returned. Black obsidian, this is just such a, there's so much magic to this crystal. It's hard to talk about all at once. It's just, even just holding it now, it's just so fascinating. Like, you can get to so many truths with obsidian. Nothing hides from obsidian at all. Like, I'm looking at this, if I keep looking up and down, uh, I'm just making sure I'm very careful that I'm not cutting myself because I can show you the edges of it. It's They use this as a surgical knife because it's that sharp. But, yeah, I've split my hand open a few times on this. I'm just going to make sure I don't do that on camera. <laughs> but you can leave this in a window. And when anyone sends you psychic attack instead of, or any dark uh, magic, anything that's bad, you put this in your window, it's one of the strongest protections ever. It's both, if anything's supposed to hit you, it's gonna hit here. It's gonna hit into the obsidian, it's gonna bounce back, but you have to make sure it's cleansed and charged because obsidian gets full quick, quickly. So if you don't cleanse your obsidian, it's gonna get full in a heartbeat. It's gonna be not as effective I'm just being very careful with this crystal. I'm not gonna, like, I have so much black obsidian. I have oh, over 50 pounds of obsidian just lying around in my home because it's beautiful. I want to pick up the other obsidians, but they're kind of dangerous. I just, here's another obsidian. This is, <laughs> if you can imagine, this is very sharp. It's kind of like, just imagine if any dark spear is coming into your home, intruding into your home, they're gonna get cut on the obsidian and they're not gonna be able to do what they wanna do to you. Obsidian just has so much fire and volcanic energy to it. I have more obsidian here. I have obsidian everywhere. This is one of my favorite crystals. It's just, I would like to talk about the obsidian way more different than you'll ever see online. Obsidian has properties of amplifying. You can use obsidian to have someone literally screaming the truth. You wear obsidian on both sides and around your neck. First of all, if you can do that, that's uh, you're a warrior because it takes a true warrior to be able to wear obsidian. Uh, but when you have obsidian around and you've mastered the energies of obsidian, it's going to be beating down on anyone who's sending you dark energy, and especially when it comes to the truth because it has power of just forcing negative energy out. Obsidian forces it out. It just amplifies it when it's there. Kind of like if there's a thorn that's been in your foot for a very long time, it's gonna for it's gonna make that thorn hot. It's gonna make it like a bigger thorn just so it's easy to like pull out. It slides out easily. And it's not gonna be fun. So when you use black obsidian, this is what I don't, I normally don't prescribe people of black obsidian right off the bat. I'll say something like black tourmaline or black, uh, black, black jet stone, if you get real black jet, is really rare. Uh, onyx, I, I'll make a whole other video on that. I don't, I mean, you have to make sure you're in the right place when you get that, but we're talking about black obsidian. It does not compare to any other black crystal. Black tourmaline, it is all about sponging an energy that's supposed to hit you and getting anything inside of you out. 
Black Obsidian does that in a way, but it does it completely differently. It amplifies it and makes it, just pumps it up, it heats it up so it comes out. So normally when you use Black Obsidian, you'll be crying. It gets everything out at once. It's just, no other crystal compares to what Black Obsidian can do. It can have people screaming and crying, just getting everything out. And it does the same when you're wearing it and people are trying to lie to you. If you wear Black Obsidian and you freshly cleanse it and freshly charge it, because Black Obsidian loves the sunlight. That's how you can cleanse and charge it, is by leaving it in the sunlight. If you don't cleanse and charge it, it's not going to be as 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 powerful. It's not going to be anywhere as efficient. If you just carry it around and you've never cleansed and charged it, it will not do anything as it does when you leave it in the sunlight or leave it next to selenite. Selenite is a very slow, but the black obsidian will turn into a new crystal if you've never put it in the sunlight. It just, it not physically, but spiritually, it'll do a hundred times more. It's literally, it it's the most magical crystal ever. I remember... Uh, when I watched Game of Thrones way back then, they go, they called Black Obsidian Dragon Glass. I know why. It, it's just such a fiery energy to it. It's just there's so much magic to Obsidian that we don't really know. Like for example, if you have a dark attachment on you, and you try to come home, and the dark attachment tries to follow you, the Obsidian will literally send the dark attachment, the fire energies of a volcano. I've had this happen a very long time ago when I wore a black obsidian anklet. I walked through a doorway to my home uh, way back then and something dark tried to follow me home. Does, it doesn't matter how because when we're around people, sometimes things try to, try to follow us home, especially if you go to clubs or bars or anything like that, which I used to way back then. But I walked through the door and I felt nothing but surging fire in my body and my, and my leg just got really hot and then it felt like... If you ever seen Fantastic Four, it just felt like flame on. I was in disbelief and then it just went away. And I was just like, what was that? I, I've i never seen that before. And then I, I, I was looking it up and I was talking to other people and I was just trying to find some, everything about it. But when I meditated on it, what came to me is something dark tried to follow me home and it kind of cooked it off with its volcanic like energies. And it's very sharp in its energy. Even if you wear it as a round bead, it's still going to be beatingly, beating sharp. It's very, very good for people who need to get through something. If you're just beating around something, even from my past life, Black Obsidian just amplifies it. It's just, it makes things so wild to fire just to get it out and get it away and so that it does not come back. So this is a stone of keeping away enemies of the inner enemy and the outer enemy. So if you are your own worst enemy, Black Obsidian's gonna amplify that. It's gonna just make it crazy. So, and then push it out and then shove it away as fast as and as hard as it can. So you will notice when you wear Obsidian, especially on the right side or as a necklace, because uh, as a necklace, it's doing both the yin and the yang. It's doing the receiving and the, the projecting. It's gonna make you a not fun person to be around. Let's just say that. <sighs> It's just all about, I mean, you're going to go through stuff that you're supposed to go through in past lives all at once. And you'll be crying. You'll just be, if you don't feel obsidian at all, it could be because you might not be thinking you're feeling it when you're actually feeling it. Or that you you don't probably, you probably move past the crystal's energies. Uh, even then, it's still good to have on you. It's still good to have around you because anything that's dark that's trying to mess with you, it's going to prick itself on the obsidian. And in a spiritual world... It really hurts when something comes across obsidian and it pricks itself on it because spirits can get hurt in a sense that and this kind of energy will beat against them and it's surprising and it's just wildfire. This whole crystal is just magic. It's even, this is a stone about, uh, I'm picking it up again, even though it's surgically sharp, but this crystal is nothing but just wildfire. If, if, if I could even... Okay, I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. Some of you might pick up on its energies, but you'll get some of you might get freaked out or scared because it's such a scary stone. When you have it, even as a uh, uh, as a scrying or the scrying near obsidian is better for some people because it goes so deep into the subconscious. Because when you're holding or just looking at obsidian, you're going into the abyss. You're going into the darkest parts of yourself, and you're going into the in the volcano. You're going into the heart of the earth. You're going into you before you knew you 
You're going into past lives and problems that were just kind of carrying over and they're fully getting amplified and released. It's just, and how quickly it does it too. Just think about it. Obsidian is lava that's cooled so fast it's never got time to mineralize. You might not have been able to uh, mineralize what you even know some of your problems are. You Like even just identify some of the problems that are there. Like even, Obsidian will have you spit and out problems in darkness just trapped from past lives and this can be from like very as many past lives ago as it was but obsidian will just fully force it out even before you knew it was there just so it's gone and you'll probably never even knew what it was because it sends it out so quickly so the, the worst reaction that you have to obsidian which is and i keep emphasizing this 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 is for some people will not be able to take the energies, but that means you have to work with it more because it's trying to remove something so dark that it's preventing you from becoming the best version of you. The obsidian is just so beautiful because once it does its job, you feel free. You feel good. You feel protected. You, you, you're not your own inner enemy anymore. You don't, your enemy is sending you negative energy as long as you're cleansing and charging it. They won't get through obsidian. They will not get through you because you're not your own worst enemy. This crystal's pure magic. It's just, it's such a fascinating stone. It's just, if you, if you take an obsidian like this and you stare at it and you start looking at the static on it, the uh, phosphotons, they call it, uh, it begins opening your clairvoyance. It starts opening psychic abilities because it's such, even if you, if you might have closed your own psychic abilities off in the past or something might have shut you off from being able to grow and develop spiritually, you'll find that in the obsidian. Obsidian is a stone of truth. And you see my Saint Michael the Archangel poster, poster in the background. I associate black obsidian with Saint Michael the Archangel because it's such a beautiful energy, but it's so straight and harsh and to the truth that it's gonna expose any darkness and fully get rid of it and make sure it doesn't come back and put it where it belongs and amplify it and release it and just send it away so you be, you see the light. So obsidian is just, I mean, from my experiences with, with working with obsidian, it's been pure magic. It's just like nothing like, if I talk about any other crystal being as magical as anything else, it has to be obsidian. It's just the way it repels darkness. It's just, I've never seen something, uh, uh, there's no crystal like this that will amplify the darkness. It'll just pump the darkness out. Like it'll, like an exorcism almost it's just it's otherworldly like if you especially if this obsidian and if it makes you uncomfortable if it makes you uh if you notice your obsidian stops working you probably need to cleanse and charge it you probably need to polish onto it or uh you can use rosemary you can use setter you can use several different things to cleanse and charge it the sunlight's the best way to cleanse and charge it this crystal it's just otherworldly once you see what it does in your life it's actual magic. I didn't know there was anything else out there like this, but even, okay, if you if you have obsidian, you're like, oh, I haven't experienced any of that. Leave it in the sunlight for a day and then hold it and then put it over certain chakras. Like you're, if you feel like you have a problem in your heart, put it over your heart and watch what happens. If you, have a, if you feel like you have trouble communicating, put it over your throat. If you feel like your third eye is blocked, put it over your third eye. The craziest thing is if you feel like you're not stable, or that you can't ground, put it over your root chakra, put it on the lower side of your back, put it on your stomach and watch what comes out. Watch, you might just start crying right away. You might not feel it, but then you might act a little different for the next few days. It depends on your energy and depends on your gifts and where you're at. Maybe you don't feel it at all. Maybe you've already worked past the energies of obsidian, but this crystal is just magic. It's just, it's very good for making sure. And let's say you work with obsidian and you just, completely feel like it stopped working for you but when you continue to wear it makes sure that you don't get oversensitive it makes sure that you don't become your own worst enemy it makes sure that you just you feel good and you can take on any challenge and you can attack tackle anything that's coming your way but obsidian it's just you have to work with a stone this is not something i i normally recommend to people right off the bat unless i feel like they need to get through a bunch of stuff all at once because it's it's it can't, you can't go around it. But this crystal, I'm starting to recommend a little more often now, just because if someone needs to go through what they have to go through, 
Obsidian does it like this. There's other crystals who do that. Black Tourmaline will do it very slowly uh, for self-development. It's more for protection, but this helps you in every sense keep enemies away inside and out. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'm so fascinated by this crystal and how powerful it is against negative energy. It's literally like, it's one of the St. Michael crystals. It's, it's just, it has no tolerance for darkness. It's a dark stone, but it makes sure the darkness doesn't come near you if you use it correctly. Remember, leave this in the sunlight and it becomes a new crystal. If you're not leaving it in the sunlight, I wouldn't leave obsidian in the moonlight at all. Because this is a harsh stone. The sun has harsh energies. They go hand in hand. When you go in public and you're wearing black obsidian, people who have something bad or dark, to like any dark energy, anything dark to say to you, the obsidian will beat against their energy field and amplify it and just send it back so you don't have to deal with it. And it's going to help them learn a little bit about why their own energy so and why their own energy is harmful. So obsidian has an environmental effect. It's just, it has properties that we don't really know about yet. Like uh, when someone sends you a psychic attack, it can be absorbed by the obsidian, even if you're, only your essence is in the environment. It's just, there's things that I'm still learning about obsidian. It's just a very magical crystal. It's just, I'm, I'll make another video on obsidian in the future, but this crystal, there's nothing else like it. I, I'm just, even in this video, I'm just amazed because if you feel like you're completely blocked up, obsidian will free you. That's the point of this video. This is one of the best and most powerful crystals to get through inner blockages, to get through outer blockages, to develop as a person, to open your spirituality. Because if you have problems that you don't even know are problems, how are you going to help yourself? That's what obsidian is there for. I have a whole necklace of obsidian on my website too, guys. FloridaStoneMan.com. I always forget to put my website in the videos, but obsidian. This is the piece of obsidian that I use in my pictures for the website. This is one of the most powerful crystals ever. There's not, no other black stone can compare to this. The way it amplifies negative energy and gets rid of it. So it just, it's all or nothing. This is the energy of this stone. And that's why I have so much obsidian around. Like if you see how much obsidian is just lying around my house and I leave selenite next to it because I can't, some of them are so huge that I can't just, <sighs> so making sure, uh, look at the patterns in this. This is just, it's literally magic. It's just, I have, bowl, I have just bowlers of this just sitting around because it's so beautiful and so nice to look at and that anything that tries to come into your home is just immediately sent back and sent away. And remember, lava and obsidian are both returned to sender stone because, uh, number one, they are volcanic, and number two, anything that has gone through fire and has become taken shape by fire, especially, uh, like, you can even think of Mexican fire agate. That's just anything, uh... Its energies are fire, so crystals that have a very heavy fire element are going to be more likely to send that back negative energy. So remember, anything that goes through fire is transformed. If someone gives you a piece of paper and you put it in the fire, now that's a new piece of paper. Maybe it's a better piece of paper than it was. Maybe uh, just that's not a good example, but you get what I'm saying. So uh, <laughs> that was a horrible example. <laughs> I don't, I usually have good examples, but that one was really bad. <laughs> but let's just, Black Obsidian transforms and sends back and protects you. And it's just a very easy crystal to remember. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment sections. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Ciao.